What's up, guys? It's back here, and we're jumping in to some Ironclad uh, here on Slay the Spire modded. Last time we went with a mime and had such a wonky, weird, uncontrollable run. I don't know if it was because of the mime mod itself or other things going on with the game. Um, random code was uncommon. One HP. Two basic cards and two colorless cards. This one could be good. It could give us like a like an interesting start to it. Oh wait. Hmm. Fire blocks <laughs> from uh, the mime. Odd one, and then finesse and forethought. I don't know how those are gonna work. Oh yeah, we got a cool path here. I'm gonna try them. Uh, let's go ahead and try these things. So we don't get nothing from them. They're just like, pretty much they gave us two block cards. It's pretty, pretty bad compared to probably what we could have got. Fourth out's pretty good though. Oh, we're gonna kill you. Oh, not fourth out, I meant uh, finesse is really good. From your hand to the bottom of your draw pile. Cause zero until played. So we'll put bash, I guess. I guess I could have bashed him instead, but yeah, we bash him now. Get those, uh, get those good plays. So yeah, I think the these blocks will probably well. I guess they're the same as the other ones, so I guess we can keep them just because. But uh, we will gotta remove some blocks from the deck probably. Attacking your hand to one this turn. To one, okay. Leading strike could be pretty good. Need something to go with it. Um, lose it a fin. <laughs> we got too many right now. And then yeah, let's remove another defend. Pretty much we're just preparing uh, to have a normal deck again. Um, so we need immolate could be good. We can make it one and then play it. So pretty much. Oh, we don't have enough for it. Well. Two times affected by block modifiers. That's not really good for us. Turn retain one card. It costs one less energy this turn. What do you upgrade to? I think we can go with that. I think we're going to put some high cost cards in the deck. And the goal is to be to reduce them. So let's pull out a basic strike now. Alright. So we're coming up on elite. Retain survivor and neutralize. And set upgraded self repair. Iron core. Transform a random card. Hmm. I don't know what iron core is, and I kind of want it. Self repair is just a good power. Uh, that will replace the healing uh, of the burning blood. So let's try that. Iron core. At the start of combat, gain two orb slots. If you have none, or channel one hellfire. Uh, Otherwise, some red and blue cards now appear in the future. So that's how you get the Hellfire. We were curious about that for the defect. I would say, so we got a bunch of orb slots. Hellfire. I want to know how to get the Hellfire, though, now. All right, we should just... Well, leading strike. Yeah, now bash is one. Then bash. Then strike. Then finesse. Then forethought and put that on the bottom. Pretty good. All right, we want to get the self repair just out of the deck. Could have blocked a little bit more, but what's 18 when we're we're gonna be recovering 10? So, uh, cost less energy next turn. Here's our free block. Uh, let's play the two strikes out, and we will retain the def well. The defend won't matter. Select a card to retain, because he will go into the other thing this turn. Yeah. A little bit incorrect. Leading strike. Bash. That. So you can get a little, like, one more card out when you do it that way. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're just going to play out these ones. These ones, like, have no reason to be played. I guess I could have retained the forethought to this turn. But I don't think it'll 
too much of a difference. Um, gosh, we are getting hammered by this dude. Kind of need, yeah, we kind of need bash. We could wait and play bash next turn. No, we should just bash, strike, stri bash and strike. Let's finesse. Okay. Bash and strike. Do this. We'll retain one strike. So next turn will be zero. I'm afraid that we won't get much. I guess we get a bunch of block this turn, but not really any damage. And the blocks are doing less and less each time. But it looks like one more good turn. Yeah. We got him this time. Whew! So I mean, hat. Oh, our hand size has increased. Whirlwind could just be like right there. I think we gotta take it. We need some, we need a better damage engine. Self so and clay, when you lose HP, gain three block the next turn. Pretty good. Also, Whirlwind is really good in this fight. So let's see if we draw Whirlwind first. We did we did draw the self repair though. Self repair, block, strike. I could have got the bash out, I know. And I should have stro well, probably uh, hit this first one. But I did not do it correctly. Let's forethought the leading strike. Just because it's going to be better if it's zero. Then we will double strike this dude. And ready to action is just kind of wasted. Whew. All right, we got six this turn. All right, here's the turn. I kind of wanted to use the whirlwind. Uh, to one. No. Yeah, I think we'll just whirlwind. Because we're kind of already blocked. Gets these guys pretty close. I probably can kill him next turn. If I do it correctly. We'll, we'll do, go ahead and do that. Get him within like two strike range. I think our current problem is we don't really have... Oh, that's a great card to get. Oh, but I didn't... I didn't do that correctly. Again, three reflection. I don't think that's enough. Could I have done any better than that though? No, because I didn't draw any blocks. Dang it. I think our starting advantage just kind of sucked that time. Oh, Dead Branch, Blue Candle, and Singing Bowl. I still, since I'm playing on the modded and I haven't, I don't play on this uh, uh, account as much, I still don't technically have all the unlocks. So, pretty nice to see them. Yeah, we'll just do the three combats. Oh, yeah, let's go. Because we have one, two, uh, two fights guaranteed. We could take out this elite and maybe go for that one. There's actually, that's a really good path. To start with. I like it. I'm a fan. As long as we don't hit any uh, snags along the way. Ooh. I like Anger. I love... Anger's one of my favorite cards. Two random cards. Strike and defend. Eh, not too bad. And not a fight. So we'll at least get one. Uh, We will lose a basic strike. The question is, do we want... I guess, yeah. That's the one we'll want to kill. Might as well get the, like, the bonus from uh, killing it. Another thing I'm kind of sad about is we never got to see the Art of War, like what it did. It does at least 30 damage, unblock, refund two, and draw two cards. We never made that work last time. So I'm a little hesitant to try it again. I think I'll try Whirlwind again. I like Whirlwind. It's a good card. It's got a lot of potential. Remove a card from your deck. Let's remove, uh, and we'll remove another basic strike, actually. I, I have a hard time, like, removing the defense. Uh, just because they're kind of needed. Gambling chip at the start of your turn. I can shuffle any number of cards in. Okay. So we can maybe, like, set up spot weakness or something like that. Uh, I think, yeah, spot weakness. Or set up, like, whirlwind on the first turn or anger on the first turn. Depending on how we want to go about it. Let's go ahead and, well, actually we'll upgrade the angers first. Because that'll put upgraded angers in your deck. All right, so I kind of want to hit him heavy on the first turn. And Spot Weakness isn't doing anything either. Um, Bash Strike or Whirlwind. So this is 8 and 6. Well, it'll be a little bit more than that. And this will be 15. So, yeah, this is definitely the slightest bit more damage. And if I had something where I could play out the Whirlwind and get an advantage, I could have done that, but it's fine. Oh, he's still vulnerable, so we'll do Bash I mean, uh, anger strike. And then we can just bash him again. 
And they'll do two less damage, but it'll extend the vulnerability out. So we'll do that. Get that benefit from actually, you know, from the damage we're doing itself. Uh, I think we'll get them next turn, so I could get eight block. I don't see a reason not to. Yeah, we got them this turn. Bash again, and that's done. Sundial, every three times we shuffle, gain two energy. Could be good. Um, battle Trance. Uh, draw extra cards. We can draw into some of those Angers and really make use of them. They get the next two cor uh, Curses with Omamori. Well, Tongue Twisted today. Um, curse with Regret. Yeah, it's fine because we negate it. Perhaps it can be reforged. Old Nail. All right, so we got to watch for that. I think that's a special place you go to on the map. Don't 100% like remember, but I think that's what it's about. Exhaustive 2 for 11 block. Uh, uppercut is pretty good, but I think I'll save my money. Nothing I'm like, you know, dying for right there. Move a card. Do it. Basic strike out of there. And the, the more we thin out our deck, the more we can do with the sundial, which I like. Bash gets one more vulnerability. This gets three more damage. It's one more. And Battle Trance is one more card. I think I'll go with the Bash. It's two more damage, and the vulnerability, I think, will matter a lot. And we got these bo this boy right here. Yeah. Uh, we'll replace this and this. And I don't think I'm going to play the, the Whirlwind. I'd rather get the Bash up. It's kind of what I'm wanting. Yeah, we got it. So we'll Bash... Battle Trance, Anger, and Strike. I wish Whirlwind was like uh, some of the other X drop cards that will do, give you uh, X plus one, so it always does damage, but it does not, and yeah, this is going to be a pretty easy fight. We could have popped one of these Power Potions, could have been very nice, but I think we're going to do plenty of damage, like... Down to 22. Going to be a little low, but I think we'll get him this turn. Got that anger. Got that battle trance. Got two more angers. That's what I was wanting. Pet ghost. Add a ghost card to your hand every turn. Max hand size increased by one. So our max hand size... Oh, no. We don't have the slimy hat anymore. So Another whirlwind? Uh, no. I'd rather headbutt angers back, I think. Uh, who are we fighting again? I missed that. Uh, Slime Man. I think I can get away with the Smith. Uh, for a Battle Trance. I think that's how I want to do it. Could be a little risky of a play, but... Yeah, I wanted Anger on the first turn. Battle Trance. Uh, I'd rather... See what we get. Yeah, so we can do... Anger. Headbutt. Back the Anger. Battle Trance. Ooh, yeah. Bash Anchor. I like it. Got 39 damage down one turn. Because we don't have to we don't have to break them too far down. Get some of these. Anger and well exhaust the slime, because I'd like a little bit better return to break them. And I assume we're gonna draw into more angers. And we did. Uh, we have no way to draw this turn, so headbutt's not as good as I would like it to be. That, put another, so we've interrupted him. Put another anger on top of the deck. Ghost defense not good, so we just want to get the slime out. So we'll have two with 40, which I think is fine. These things are doing 11 damage a piece. Let's get him almost pretty much off the board. Actually, we did get him off the board entirely. Oh, I messed that up. I didn't even see what he was doing. I went to look at the cards and I had already clicked. Anger. Oh, I should have bashed first. Headbutt. Doesn't matter. Easy good fight. Easy good fight. Good fight. Upgrade a skill attack in your hand X times. Yes. And refund one. X plus one. That's what we want. We can make the super anger. And that's what I want to do. Um, Less map information. I think I just want to remove some cards. Now that I kind of know what I'm doing. Demonic Infusion plus Anger. Um, strike. I think... Whirl well, Whirlwind is our AoE. I'll keep it. 
Let's remove a defend. Because now we're, we're, we're getting the uh, amount of cards down. Uh, we'll go to the jungle. We did the city last time, so we should go to the jungle. Okay. Cool path right here. Got some spiders. So the other ones are guarded. So that's not good. Oh, I just want to set up my first turn with Demonic Confusion. Because I want to see if it even works. Oh. Crap, you want from your draw pile and place it in your hand. Really? Last card? Couldn't give it to me? That sucks. Um, just headbutt back. <laughs> the battle trance. Put it on top of the deck with that one. Then we'll kill him off so we're taking less damage. I hate that we're losing the demonic confusion. It sucks. Because I want to make sure it works first with anger before I get too excited. Webbed. Uh, increase the cost of the first card. Drawn by one this combat. Okay. So Battle Trash costs one this turn, which is fine. I'm going to go with it. Um, trying to decide. Headbutt. Put a card back on top. Spot weakness here. I mean, I think it just makes more sense to kill him or get close. And then whirlwind through all of them. Oh, they have a bunch of block. I didn't even realize that. But they don't do a lot of damage. They do, like, a bunch of little damage. All right. Uh, ghost fetch. Oh, I don't want either one of these. Battle trance. Ah, oh, there we go. So I want to demonic infuse the anger. Add a copy. Yeah, it's an and it adds a copy of this card. So, 16 damage, and then we put another plus two in the deck. So that's what exactly, kind of what I was thinking. Anger plus two. Okay, yeah. I'm I'm really game for this. It's going to be a really interesting one. Especially if we add some more draw to the deck. Like, fill up the whole deck and then Battle Trance into some better ones. Well, Battle Trance does do the thing where you can't draw anymore. So that's something we got to keep in mind. Uh, I think we'll keep what we got. Uh, Shrugs, pretty good. Another, like, uh, way to gain block. But I think we're good. Honestly, I, I want to keep removing cards if possible. Uh, banana. Permanently increase our HP by one every time we use it. I like that a lot. Uh, we could just steal it. Because Pin Nib, Lantern, and the Bottle could be good. Um, and I want Banana. So let's try fighting the Shopkeeper. All right, so we kind of want to set up our turn the way we want it. We did get the Anger, Battle Trance, and we did get the Demonic Infusion with five energy. So Demonically Infuse the Anger. Well, it goes to an Anger plus two. Oh, no, Anger plus five. And then we do that. Ends the turn. So he does do a little bit of damage. Ooh, got some screen shake with that one. 200 health. All right. Now, did that restart? No, it did not restart the combat itself. So, I think we just defend a little bit now. And, yeah, we don't need a whirlwind. And we just kind of want to shuffle back through to the angers. Whew! Pennies, man. Plus five. Spot weakness. Battle trance. Get back to it. Yeah. Yep. Headbutt, um, another anger. <laughs> Whew. Uh, we'll bring back the better defend. I mean, it's, he's gonna hurt me again, but I, I'm, I'm feeling this. Gain 35 block. So he's got, what is that called? Gold shield. So you do have to do a pretty good amount of damage to him. Like, he's doing 40 this time to me. Um, what powers can we get? Let's see what we have. Uh, whenever you exhaust a card, no. Uh, all these are kind of poo. Guess I can corruption so I get to angers quicker. It's an odd one to do. But I can get all these out of my hand. Uh, ghost fetch. Oh, I can't even play it. Because this one was not as good of a... Like, showing for the anger boys. Alright. 
so but we are thinning out the deck and th thinning out the amount of block we have but yeah like this turn whoo and five times 11 to 55 he's doing 30 damage to me though so i need to play this oh, i should have probably done a little bit something else metallicize is that enough though five plus that's 20 he's doing 30 no it's not enough of course it's not enough. Why would it be? We were so close. He had the tiniest bit of HP. I thought we had that too. Dang it. It was a good showing though. <sighs> I'm having no luck with uh, my, my games today. Anyways guys, I am going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.